BBC Two. This is BBC Two. Now, Bob Harris introduces this week's edition of the Old Grey Whistle Test. Now, to close this evening on two, the news from Richard Whitmore. BBC Two, hello again, good evening to you from David Allen. In uh, just over a minute, the third programme in our series, Man at Work. <laughs> In 60 Minutes on 2, the original feature film of M.A.S.H. starring Donald Sutherland. That's after the Old Grey Whistle Test, live from the Rainbow Theatre London, where we're about to join Radio 1 in stereo for the Kinks Christmas Concert. Now on to the flight of the Condor continues its exploration of the Andes across the Atacama Desert, which stretches for 2,000 miles along the Pacific. <laughs> Here on BBC Two, a puppet film called The Nutcracker and the Mouse King. And now our Christmas Day on BBC Two begins, continues rather, as we begin a season of films featuring well-known literary works set to music. The colourful and decadent Berlin Café Society in the 30s provided the setting for Christopher Isherwood's Goodbye to Berlin. In 1974, Liza Minnelli, Joel Grey and Michael York became the stars of Cabaret. Lots to look forward to. The time is almost quarter past twelve, and already we're into the early hours of Christmas Eve. And if you're putting those final touches to Christmas preparations, I'm sure a little music will not come amiss. So as we on BBC Two bid you good night, can we point you in the direction of Radio Two, where there are sounds of jazz with Peter Clayton. And then from one, Peter Dixon is looking after Night Ride. But now, good night to you. Good night. But before that, we've an animated feline story as we present, for the first time on British television, the tale of Peter No Tail. Next week's screen two is The Russian Soldier. Warren Clark stars as Edgar Garris, a farmer who begins to feel an atmosphere of menace pervading his farm and senses that for him and his family, nothing can ever be the same again. Screen two with The Russian Soldier at ten past ten next Sunday. And now in Edinburgh, Scotland meet England for international darts. And now just before we call it a day, let's look ahead to tomorrow evening on two. Micro Live at 5.30 includes a progress report on the BBC's interactive video Doomsday Project. And then making a song and dance at six are Judy Garland and Van Heflin in the light-hearted musical comedy presenting Lily Mars. Open Space at 7.40 takes a look at what happens to three families who get into difficulties with the mortgage and face possession by the bailiffs. Followed at ten past eight by Horizon on the new face of leprosy, a disease which still has 12 million sufferers in the world, despite the discovery of a cure 30 years ago. 
A new series featuring the comic impressions of Rory Bremner, Now Something Else, begins at 9. Then the entertainment continues at 9.30 in the Bob Monkhouse Show, with international comic talent in the shape of Phyllis Diller from America, magic star Mac Roney from France, and from our own shores, the miming skills of Derek Griffiths. At 10 past 10, Barry Davis talks to maestro Mike Gibson, once described as the complete rugby player. Newsnight is at 5 to 11, followed at 11.45 by the evening's news as seen by viewers in Madrid and Luxembourg in Tele Journal. That's tomorrow on to. Well, now it's 16 minutes past midnight, and uh, with our usual reminder that Radio 2's entertainment continues on through the night, we're closing BBC Two. And on behalf of all of us here, this is Andrew Cartledge thanking you for joining us and wishing you now a very good night. And the BBC Two's Saturday Cinema Double Bill continues in a moment with The Diary of a Chambermaid. There's a Western adventure with Laramie at 4.55, and then at 5.45, Horizon asks who built Stonehenge and investigates the story of the celebrated circle of stones on Salisbury Plain. News View with Jan Leeming and Morris Stewart is at 6.35. And that's followed at 7.15 by scenes from this morning's colourful state occasion, Trooping the Colour, at which Her Majesty the Queen took the salute on London's Horse Guards Parade to mark her official birthday. Then at 8.30 we begin a festival of Caribbean nights with a five and a half hour exploration of the Caribbean's history, music and culture, hosted by journalist and broadcaster Darkus Howe. Poet Linton Quasi Johnson presents a personal report on the historic relationship between the Caribbean and Britain, and the centrepiece of the evening is an offbeat portrait of Bluefields, Nicaragua, where maple dancing is a legacy of British rule of a bygone age. And that's in the first of six Caribbean nights, beginning at 8.30 here on BBC Two. So now we come to our second Jean Renoir film of this afternoon's Saturday cinema. Paulette Goddard stars in The Diary of a Chambermaid. <laughs> You're watching BBC Two. And now, live from the other side of the world, the Australian Grand Prix, introduced by Steve Ryder. While here on two now, we enter the fantasy world of animated film with Jonathan Swift's classic story which relates the adventures of Gulliver's Travels. Family make up the quiz challengers for the eggheads at six. First on BBC Two Northern Ireland, a special place holds special finds with Fiona Bruce. Over on BBC Two in a moment, Holiday Outing visits India and discovers the diversity of cultures that make up this land of extreme. Later tonight at 11.25 on two, International Snooker brings you the best of today's play at the Hong Kong Masters Tournament. This is BBC Two, and now, Newsnight. Now on to the last in the series of Artist Journeys. Tony Cragg is off to Romania in search of clues that may lead him closer to the influences in Constantine Brancusi's artistic life. World-class action on the ice, now on BBC Two, introduced by Sue Barker. Now on BBC Two, the programme that really knows its arsenal from its elbow. This is BBC Two. We now provide coverage of the Master Snooker from Wembley Conference Centre, where we join Doogie Donnelly. Aaron does mercy for the crew of the Enterprise, now on BBC Two in Star Trek. TV for the Brave, first on BBC Two, The Sunday Show. 
now on BBC Two, a children's delight, a secret in Suffolk, and a blooming freak. Gardener's World. Now on BBC Two, Captain Frank Drebin exercises his amazing detection skills. Only the innocent need fear. Police squad. After years of longing and looking forward, finally it's goodbye mucky Leeds, hello magical Morecambe. But retirement isn't all it's cracked up to be, not even with a sunset across the bay, as tonight's play in our Alan Bennett season proves. Skyscrapers, why wait for a lift when you can crawl up the outside? An extreme challenge now on BBC Two, in They Who Dare. Now, on BBC Two, by way of a tribute to Audrey Hepburn, who died last month, we're showing her Oscar-winning performance as the princess who falls in love with an American journalist, played by Gregory Peck, in the classic romantic comedy, Roman Holiday. An exclusive world premiere on BBC Two now, with the concert recorded earlier this evening. Mike Oldfield performs Tubular Bells 2 from Edinburgh Castle. An MGM classic adventure now on BBC Two. Robert Taylor and Elizabeth Taylor star in Ivanhoe. BBC Two falls into the hands of the two fat ladies now with the tastiest and juiciest comedy cuts. Now on BBC Two, Rock Docs presents an omnibus film on Leonard Cohen, Songs from a Life. It's all a matter of honour here on BBC Two now, as Keith Carradine and Harvey Keitel become embroiled in a long and bloody feud. Set at the time of the Napoleonic Wars, Ridley Scott directs his first film, The Duelists. Here on BBC Two, a man with a mission to investigate beer. A difficult job, but someone's got to do it. Now on BBC Two, Sandy Toxvig introduces those who are refurbishing the decorators for the 21st century. <laughs> Now we join an ancient adventure filled with rotten Roman rascals and gallant Gauls and follow the antics of Asterix in Britain. The Cry of Christmas from the innovative hand of composer John Taverner, now on BBC Two, as the climax to our Advent season of music videos, a new performance of his work, God is With Us. Well now, since it's very late on Christmas Eve, or should I say Christmas Day, and because we've come to the end of our schedule on BBC Two, there's just a couple of things to do before we bid you good night. Although we're calling it a day, and BBC One is soon to follow, we have friends and colleagues who are still broadcasting for you on BBC Radio. Pete Tong's Christmas Mix is happening on Radio One now, while on Radio Two, a little gentle music and chat from Mr Alan Dedicotes. But from BBC Two now, thank you for sharing your Christmas Eve with us and do join us again tomorrow. We'll be here again, fresh from our turkey and goose. And on behalf of all of us on BBC Two, have yourself an excellent Christmas day and a peaceful and pleasant night. And from me, Michaela Saunders, a Merry Christmas. Now on BBC Two, it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing, according to Tony Bennett. This is BBC Two. Now tonight's screen two is a bawdy medieval mystery with Colin Firth embroiled in political and sexual intrigue. The Hour of the Pig.
We're off to America now on BBC Two for film comedy. Barbara Stanwyck stars as a successful housewife with a naughty secret. Christmas in Connecticut. <laughs> An adventure from Beatrix Potter now on BBC Two, The Tale of Mr. Todd. First, profiling the original girl power. This is BBC Two. A special for Christmas and the first of two nights in the company of Clint Eastwood beginning now on BBC Two. In an hour, amazing results with a bent piece of metal in the classic Escape from Alcatraz. First, Arena introduces us to the Hollywood icon who never wanted to be an actor.
The opening day of this year's Masters Snooker continues now on BBC Two with Ray Stubbs at Wembley. A Christmas party with the Armstrongs, but will anybody turn up? Find out tomorrow at 10. Right now on BBC Two, image is everything. The perfect time of night now on BBC Two for political manoeuvring. So while BBC One covers Tim Henman's exciting match at Wimbledon, the BBC News comes to BBC Two now with George Alagaya and Sean Williams. Digital viewers should press TV and button two on their remote control. The six surviving candidates are thrown in at the deep end in the shark-infested world of estate agents. The Apprentice on BBC Two tomorrow night at nine. Now taming a tantrum-prone four-year-old, it's BBC Three's Little Angels. OK, ready to get really paranoid? The monsters really are out to get you. There's strong language and scenes of violence now on BBC Two in the psychological thriller Nightbreed. A brand new series looking back at four summers which changed Britain forever now on BBC Two, beginning with A Summer of Love and this week, very strong language from 1967. Newsnight now on BBC Two with Jeremy Paxman. We have a change to our schedule now on BBC Two. Today's events in Iraq have meant that we'll be joining BBC News 24 in about half an hour. That also means we'll not now be showing Nevermind the Buzzcocks, but instead in its place and half an hour earlier than build, and with some strong language. It's double take. Now on BBC Two, of all the words in all the world, Blackadder's making good use of just two of them, bitter and twisted. TV highlights from 34 years ago and among the variety shows and classic comedies, a real life or death drama that had viewers hooked. That was the week we watched, now on BBC Two. The global battle against terrorism continues now on BBC Two in a gripping new drama from the Channel of the Year. Following a second surprise attack, American and British security services are struggling to stay ahead of the game. The news gets a good kicking from Joe Brand and Dara Breen, lacerating wit with Mock the Week coming up. A new series here on BBC Two in ten minutes. A new series now on BBC Two follows the work of the seaside parish of Boscastle, dealing with last year's floods. It's a new series of a seaside parish in half an hour on BBC Two after another new series which explores the country's great cathedrals. Now on BBC Two, Witness looks at one man's obsession with space travel. Now, as I sit here sipping a late-night sherry, Phil Vowles is munching a mince pie on BBC One, but it's time to say goodnight. Don't forget, tomorrow here on BBC Two, we've got lush romantic antics from Colin Firth and Rupert Everett in The Importance of Being Earnest at Eight. So, Merry Christmas. Off to bed now. Quick. I think I can hear something. Santa's on his way. Looking through to tastes of the Caribbean with Planet Food at 11.30, you're watching BBC Two with something new for the weekend.
This is BBC Two. Tonight, separating fact from fiction, 9-11, the conspiracy files at nine o'clock. Now, fruity, spicy, fusion tastes of the Caribbean with Planet Food. This is BBC Two. Tonight, what really happened on the day the world changed? 9-11, the conspiracy files here at nine. Now, a bestseller on screen. Jack Lemmon stars in Tuesdays with Maury. Some people believe that the US government was actively responsible for 9-11. But do you? The Conspiracy Files, tonight at 9. You're watching BBC Two now, and it's murder. Final day of the World Championships with Ski Sunday here at 4.35. This is BBC Two. It's rugby now, and we know it's only rock and mall, but we like it. see 9-11 through different eyes after Top Gear enters the space race at 8. You're watching BBC Two. Now to Sweden for Ski Sunday. Sunday night comedy with Ideal and Family Guy from 11.20. But right now on BBC Two, the final days of a superstar and one of Rock's great mysteries. Varinas betrayed and Mark Antony sent packing to Egypt. Another chance to catch up with this week's episodes of Rome from 20 past 11 tonight. Now on BBC Two, Jack and Victor taste the high life. Now on BBC Two, the latest national and international updates with BBC News. Supercars in the desert with the best of Top Gear tomorrow at 8. Now on BBC Two, celebrating Newsnight at 30. Remember this. <laughs> A remarkable tale of opera success against the odds. Andrea Bocelli, the story behind the voice at 10 to 7. But now time to put your feet up for a magical Christmas Day ballet here on BBC Two. Romeo and Juliet with the Royal Ballet. Three incredibly brave children in Great Ormond Street fix my jeans at nine tonight on BBC Two. First, a giant house share. Can just a hundred thousand pounds build this dream family home? Making waves with some vintage looks now on BBC Two, with the house getting in a 1920s flap. The pressure's on in the latest hair-raising challenge. Now on BBC Two, Newsnight with Emily Maitlis. Newsnight, now on BBC Two, with Kirsty Walk. An intriguing find, fish out of the attic on Orbit at 5.45 on BBC Two. Right now, life imitating art on a continental property search. Escape with Anita Rani.
A Friday night thriller from the Olympic Stadium with Jessica Ennis-Hill and Mo Farah in action at the London Anniversary Games here on BBC Two after Gardner's World. Tom Jones brings the music and Eric and Ernie bring the sunshine to Friday night now on BBC Two. BBC Two still pressing that comedy button with some strong language. Whatever you do, don't miss out on the outtakes right at the end with Top Coppers. Take some crime drama that's as tense as they come. Cold in July, the film here at 10. First on BBC Two, talking to the people of a diverse and divided nation. A new adventure with Simon Reeve. The plot thickens in an hour. We'll have you gripped. First, a feast for the senses on BBC Two with the RHS at Hampton Court. A tale of trust and betrayal in an hour on BBC Two. First, in the grip of a heat wave, it's hard to believe what terrible conditions we've recently endured. Horizon asks, what's wrong with our weather? A tunnel built to last now on BBC Two. Underground, underwater and under pressure, building the £15 billion railway. Adding some drama at Longmeadow. Monty Don goes bananas on Gardener's World in half an hour. EastEnders now on BBC Two. Sharon, what's your next move going to be? Michael Portillo's fascination with the railways has taken him on a poignant journey this week on BBC Two. And now the second of all five episodes showing again this morning. University Challenge with Jeremy Paxman tonight at 8. First on BBC Two, food to motorbike half the world for, as Cy and Dave make it to South Korea in the Hairy Bikers Asian Adventure. Tasty TV on BBC Two with salted caramel coffee eclairs. Paul Hollywood's Pies and Puds is at 1.20. First on BBC Two, we're in the kitchen with James. Visiting the Australian outback, Simon Reeve continues his journey along the Tropic of Capricorn in an hour. First on BBC Two, two more famous faces hit the road. Well, hey there. This is BBC Two and we've got a cool, colourful new look. Iconic, just like Britain's longest road, the A1, where a learner driver has been thrown a curveball in half an hour. It's eyes down first, though. We have got a book to read. Now that's got your attention, hasn't it? Beautiful new packaging here on BBC Two. Of course, it's what's inside that counts, as you'll see with Chase the Case in 45 minutes. First, though, lightening the load. Now, you might have noticed BBC Two is looking pretty amazing this morning. Bet you can't take your eyes off us. And right now, from the power of seduction to the power of deduction. Get wrapped up in today's big news stories now on BBC Two with the Victoria Derbyshire team. Is Labour ready to govern? Andrew Neil with Politics Live at 12.15. After BBC Newsroom Live now with Anita McVeigh. Hello and welcome to our New Look BBC Two. Politics Live now with Andrew Neil.
4.45 and we've eggheads here on BBC Two. Join Jeremy Vine for that. After David Attenborough's Rise of Animals, Triumph of the Vertebrates. Now ahead of BBC Music Day tomorrow, everybody's favourite choir master, Gareth Malone, brings us a brand new quiz where you have to play the answer as well as say it. Don't worry, you'll catch on. Just get ready for possibly the best intro to a game show ever. Code Cracking Twins compete at six as the new series of Letterbox continues. And on BBC Two Now, how to lose value in an instant in Flog It. Julia's found a nanny. She's really great to start off with anyway. Motherland in half an hour. Some strong language now on BBC Two and a reward if anyone can catch that weird orange creature. Don't do that on my screen. Body parts and Ed Balls. That's all I'm saying for QI tonight at 10. Use your top-end body parts now on BBC Two for University Challenge. Right now on BBC Two, does drinking wine or a pint every day mean you have a problem with drink? And when does it become an addiction? With some strong language, Adrian Charles examines ours and his relationship with alcohol. Engage in complex drama now on BBC Two with strong language and some scenes some viewers may find upsetting. In the fight for justice, the truth twists and the truth turns. The grandiose schemes of the kidnappers fall prey to a catalogue of catastrophes now on BBC Two. With some strong language and some scenes some viewers may find upsetting. Trust. Joining Department Q, a detective reopens the case of a female politician who disappeared and everyone thinks she's dead. The strong language and scenes you may find disturbing now on BBC Two in The Keeper of Lost Causes. Now on BBC Two with strong language from the start and some violent scenes. It's also quiet and peaceful until trust is broken. A life in the fast lane, Murray Walker, turbocharged tonight at seven. On BBC Two now, the sky's the limit. It's do or die in Franklin's world and time to step things up a gear in snowfall at 10.45. First, with some strong language, we go all PC with Sandy. Good morning, welcome to the weekend. It's Dean here taking you through Saturday with CBBC on BBC Two and let's get you thinking first today with Susan Cowman. From Belgian spies to the role of women running the railways of the Great Wall, Michael Portillo's here in half an hour. First, though, on BBC Two, a real history of Britain. So a storm is gathering. Snuggle up with us for our brand new brooding drama, Jamie Dornan and Anne Skelly in Death and Nightingales in an Hour. Pulling off a perfect pineapple pudding first on BBC Two, things are about to get sticky.
Two virtual renovation designs made real for one couple before a hammer has even been lifted. Your home made perfect here on BBC Two tomorrow night at eight. Now, the race to third. In a landmark new series now on BBC Two, Professor Brian Cox shines a light on the strange history of our solar system, the spellbinding story of the planets. The mindset of a champion ahead of his return from surgery to play at Queen's Club on Monday, BBC Two remembers the extraordinary year when Andy won Wimbledon. Growing up, Sunday night telly was just the worst. And now look at it. Happy Father's Day from BBC Two as the mother of all motoring shows returns with a brand new lineup. Extended tennis coverage earlier this evening has changed tonight's schedule on BBC Two. A reminder, Mock the Week is on tomorrow at 10 instead. Now, later than build more real life stories following people trying to remain in the UK. Welcome along to Saturday Night here on BBC Two Northern Ireland. And being the 1st of December, we've added a few festive touches here and there. Hope you like them. Coming up right now, the power of dance. The chance to improve your body and your mind with Darcy Bustle. Second round action at the UK Snooker Championship to catch up with on BBC Two. Hazel Irvin rounds up the best bits. You're watching BBC Two. Turnbull, clever so-and-so so far, but how far can a so-and-so go? Richard Osman's House of Games tonight at six. Rob's your man right now. In half an hour, two estates are better than one. The beneficiaries should certainly know in Air Hunters after eggheads. There's a science to flog it later today at 5.15. And with some eye catchers now, Vintage Antiques Roadshow. Artisan cider making its core business in half an hour in Bank to the Land with Kate Humble. After Born to be Wild. New episode tonight at eight. More importantly, New Kitchen, your homemade perfect with Angela Scanlon. And on BBC Two Now, it's Cider with Kate as we go back to the land. In half an hour, who's loving learning this week's steps? In Strictly, it takes two. 
And playing mind games first, it's Mr. O with another House of Games. Heading back in time for school next on two, Saturday Night Fever, Spaghetti Junction and Iffy School Dinners all on the menu, while your homemade perfect makes use of cutting-edge tech in a new episode at eight. An immersive documentary takes us to the eye of January's storming of Capitol Hill tonight at nine. Now we're back on the school bus. Next stop, the 1970s. Now on BBC Two, it's Newsnight with Emily Maitlis. Now with very strong language from the start and scenes which some viewers may find upsetting, we hear from protesters, rioters, politicians and police officers about what really happened during those four hours at the Capitol. So many flavours of BBC Two, curried crab cakes and blueberry muffins as the hairy bikers go north, new at eight tonight. Now though, the very latest, Politics Live. <laughs> 